Greetings everyone and a warm welcome. Namaste. Hey Leo, this is your reading for March 2018. March can be an interesting month. It is the crossover of seasons across the globe. It is also where people often say beware the Ides of March and March can be known as the month of March madness. So it can be an interesting month emotion-wise and weather-wise, sometimes earthquakes and volcanoes as well. So we are using four of these Morgan Greer cards for your reading and then four other cards as um, clarifiers or extenders underneath. So Leo, let's see what's in store for you guys for March 2018. Your first card is the Eight of Pentacles, then the Devil Reversed. There are some reversals in the deck at the moment and we are working with them. Then you have the Seven of Swords and then you have the Knight of Rods Reversed. Let's see what you are going to get for a mixing with this deck. These cards are quite stiff so they tend to be shuffled better in this manner. For Leo, March 2018. Before I started your reading, I did intuitively do a little bit of work for you guys and it was about the words that came up for you with self-worth. Also, um, the orange chakra and the numbers two and four. And it sort of, I got the messages of saying, are you wanting more? You need to let go of self-doubt and let go of past self-doubts to move into the future. So we'll see how that ties into the reading. That is action, the sun, the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, and the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So you have right quite an interesting reading going on here, you guys. I will see if I can zoom this in a little bit more for you. There is no set necessary format to the reading. It's quite fluid. It can fl the messages can flow throughout the month. So we will be working in columns and we will start from the first one on the left with this eight of pentacles. I often say the seven and I'm not sure why. That must be a mental block that I have. But that is in fact the eight of pentacles. And underneath you've got action. So the two of these could be hand in hand about finances and career. They are both positive cards. One is definitely suggesting to uh, pick up more action and get more flow or movement in and the other one on the top one, the Eight of Pentacles, is very much about saying your hard work is paying dividends one way or another. So sometimes this suggests to us that you may have been involved in either projects or an idea or a concept or even in your day-to-day -day life if, if you're a working person it could be your career and you are taking good solid steps through the processes of it. It can also indicate that you are putting your finances in the right type of area so if you are thinking of investing or you have been putting them into some sort of portfolio whether it's property or a bank or uh, like a savings fund or scheme it says it's working well and it, the assets or the amount of financial wealth behind you is slowly accumulating. Now one other thing that I can think of with this card, which when it turns up, the man chipping away on the pentacles there, he's chipping away at the lower two pentacles, which often refers, in my mind, to the sacral chakra and the solar plexus chakra. Now in my intuitive notes for you I got told about the orange chakra and this one also connects with it. So sometimes this refers to literal physical blocks that need to have action taken on them. Some of you might find you have pain in your hips or your leg or your um, lower abdomen, your lower back or thigh region. You might also have some blockage there at more of a sort of an emotional level that is stopping you from proceeding ahead with your financial abundance or your decision making around your finances which could be requiring you again to take action. So I think the card beneath is a really poignant one about you're needing to um, 
ponder upon something, whether it's physical, such as going to a healer or going and getting an x-ray on your back or your hips or checking out why your abdomen or your bowels or your uh, sex centers might not be working quite right. They might need hormone balancing as well or possible um, change of diet. Action as in physical movement. Some of you might be stiff or have not had enough movement around. You might be in a sedentary job seated a lot and you need to actually get your body flowing uh, walking running sit-ups movement gardening being outdoors again in the sun and spending time outdoors could be really beneficial for all you leos as well the other thing that this eight of um, pentacles could be talking about is some of you might even be at this point in time especially for those of you either studying or in a job or if you're not working this could be your passionate career side of life but you might be about to find that you are coming into a period where you have to work a little bit harder and so there is a demand put on you which requires this action being taken so I think it could be a message a that's coming to you for the future as the month works on and possibly even flowing into the next month about applying yourself really diligently because others could be looking at what you're doing and they might be surveying you to, to trying to decide are you right for the next jump up in a career or a promotion or a new perspective along those lines and that's also what the eight of pentacles can knit mean and with this action card under it you're definitely being called to action now also the black and white of the horses in the action card is very much talking to us about balance and that uh, issue when I talked about before about the balance in the lower half of your body is definitely also meeting up with that message now we'll move on to the second column it is a major arcana card for you and it's reversed it's the devil and then underneath you have almost the total opposite of that the sun so the two of them are quite juxtapositioned pulling apart um, heading for each other but pulling apart Another thing, sorry, before we move on to the devil is if we go back to the left hand side we've got two number eights because the action adds up to eight and so does the eight of pentacles. So the number eight could be relevant for you guys as well as the two numbers I gave you at the beginning. Something to ponder upon there. And of course number eight is the eternal life symbol as well. It can often mean karmic influences or issues going on in your life at the moment. Now the reverse devil is not as, um, when I say negative I don't mean that in a, in a bad way, but it's not as negative as it would be if it were upright. It tends to have a slightly different connotation, so perhaps I should say it's not as frightening card as it is upright. It does talk to us about, um, it can be a situation that is possibly a trap and telling us is an illusion and that we have options and that help is available. So. Often when this card is upright, it refers to out of balance um, addictions or relationships that aren't particularly healthy for us. So I think this card is more about being aware that there is a possibility that we could go that way or that there could be people around that are in, uh, you know, pushing the boundaries of our belief systems or how comfortable we feel in life and interestingly enough with the seven of swords next door and even this guy reversed they're all sort of showing a similar tendency of slight glitch feelings around relationships trustworthiness and people in your life in the month of March and interestingly at the very beginning I mentioned March seems to be a month where quite a lot of things just get perturbed and, and you know mucked up and thrashed about but this reverse devil of yours it can sort of be um, an idea that you have to kind of think about different perspectives in your life and watch out for as I said earlier, the possibility of it something in your life not going quite the way you want to, but you might be being alerted to it very, very quickly or in advance. Now, sometimes this can be around the workplace. I feel as if it's almost like somebody's watching you at work or watching your abilities or watching how you are handling situations or the people you mix with or the way you're dealing with things. This is obviously for some of you, not for all of you. 
I don't know whether this is a boss who's watching or a co-worker or a new potential employer but there's someone doing stuff behind the scenes that I don't think you guys are that privy to at the moment. They're checking you out or scoping you out for things. But when we come to the card underneath the sun, just as in the normal traditional tarot deck, it's a very powerful positive card. It's influential, it's beneficial, it's benevolent. So it often protrudes energy such as love, calm, establishment, success, nurturing, also conception. This can be a time when babies are born or conceived as well. So some of you might even be like in the throes of really wanting to have a child or get, gain a pregnancy and you might be coming a bit obsessed about it. There's these type of things that this reverse devil could be indicating. The sun also tells us to remember to get outdoors and enjoy the natural wonders of life and to energize ourselves with the sun and bring balance into our body through the energy of the sun as well. So it's quite a it's quite a powerful channel because in essence too the sun is also one of your major arcana cards. So you, those are kind of like the two that you have in your reading and they're powered up together. And I quite like the fact that the devil is reversed because it is giving you some sort of forewarning of watching behavioural patterns and people around you. Now we come here to this one, the seven of swords, and it's one I don't particularly like. I mean it's not a major arcana card in the deck. It seems relatively simple but it's quite a complex card in real terms. It can be referring either to us and our behaviours or it can be referring to people in our lives around us. It's kind of stealth like operations or maneuvers that this person is doing. Again this can be hidden agenda so you're not actually aware of it. It can be people around you who are making decisions that are not necessarily going to be appropriate or good for you in particular. It often uh, uses the word deceit or underhand. It can turn up when there are people around who steal things such as your identity, so your uh, things like visa numbers or bank account numbers. So being really vigilant online is important at this time as well as keeping your other identity information close to you so passports can get stolen or be used against you. Um, there can be, yeah, I've noticed when this card turns up there can actually be global issues to do with viruses in computer systems and things like that. They can be more prevalent when this card is around. Now the card beneath it is the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. Now Metatron can be used in many different ways but he's a very good protector of energy. So if any of you feel at any time you think you're being either psychically attacked or you feel as though people around you are denigrating you or causing negativity in your life or there are arguments or mistrust, Metatron can be used to call upon for explicit protection. You can ask him to uh, utilize the white light that surrounds him, which you can see on the card, to protect your home, your family, your pieces of uh, valuable equipment, your identity. He can be used for all of those things. Now, you need to sort of um, have a little bit of understanding and knowledge on how to call for protection from these benevolent celestial helpers, but it's not difficult to actually do. The sixth chakra is also the third eye area and this is about trusting your gut instinct and using your psychic awareness a little bit more, especially around people who could be distrustful. So if you were bringing any new people into your life, friends or business associates or other people and you don't feel 100% about them, I'd be very careful and think twice. Do some due diligence on who they really might be and this could go for even if you're dating or using the online dating things like the Tinders or um, the Grinders, if that might be what you're doing. Any of those could hold people in them that don't necessarily act in the best way and they could be a little bit negative. 
we come to this fourth line here and we see the Knight of Rods reversed and we see the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, which is your crown chakra on the top of your head. And again, this is very much about bringing in celestial white light energy. You can use it for protection or you can use it for awareness. You can use it to enhance your creativity in particular. So if any of you are wanting to unblock creative energies which could be blocked because we have this knight of rods upside down which kind of sometimes just means it's like you're in a glitch phase you know you hear the term writer's block for all those creative people and they just go oh my god I, I can't get get another page of writing out this can be the sort of indication when a card like this turns up but this is the exact card underneath that's allowing energy to actually flow to almost reverse that knight of rods. So the interesting thing for you guys Leo is with your reversals that have turned up and also that seven of swords you have got really powerful cards underneath that are almost obliterating any of the negative perspectives of it. They are helping, they're allowing some sort of progress through or allowing a new inroad to manifest a positive outcome from these situations that are occurring. So I think for you guys it's up to you in the month if you see something you don't like happening think about ways around it because there are opportunities for you to work through anything that's coming your way. It's about not sitting on your laurels, it's about being engaged actively in finding resolution to solutions. Archangel Uriel, she does come with this beautiful connection to your all of your celestial helpers, so that's your archangels, your spirit guides, um, angelic helpers, anything along those lines. It's also the connection to your higher thoughts, your subconscious and collective consciousness in the world. So sometimes this can be a time of great awareness and awakening and opportunities. With this one here, the Knight of Rods reversed, I think for a lot of you it could just be suggesting again about something at work and we've talked about that on the very first bunch of cards that came in. So it feels as though there could be some sort of interruption or something possibly going on for a lot of you in your careers or your workplace. Some of you, if you're thinking of starting your own business or expanding it, there could be a few complications or extra things that you need to take into consideration or think about as the month draws through. So there you are, Leo. I think it's quite an interesting reading. You've been given a lot of support or answers to work on for any sort of glitches that come up for the month. Although I don't normally do reversals, they can be quite interesting because they offer us I think an insight into how to address the little things that pop up on a day-to-day -day basis or through a month. So hey, thanks for joining me everyone. And I'd love you all to sub the channel so that when I do my uploads, they automatically pop into your inbox or your new subscription list. It can be really difficult to find the videos if you're not subscribed. And please leave your comments. I love to read them all and when I get time, I respond. So wishing you all a really fabulous march ahead. Thank you for tuning in everyone and listening and enjoying the video. Take care. Much love. Namaste.